dear friends again we are going to see one more barber problem we have to identify whether the problem is finite or infinite so we have this is common arrival rate is poisson service rate is exponential and only single server is there we have to check whether the capacity is going to be finite or infinite and discipline is going to be the same first in first out so let us understand the question first a one man barber shop so the server is one can maximum accommodate five people at a time so that means he can admit only five people it represents the system capacity k is equal to 5 out of this four person are waiting and then one is getting serviced and then one is getting serviced so here itself we can conclude the k value is equal to 5 so it is going to be a finite system capacity problem where k equal to 5 okay now let us see one by one customers arriving following the poison process with an average of 5 per hour so it is very clear lambda is equal to 5 per hour this is clear to us next one the service is rendered according to the exponential distribution with an average of 15 minutes so that means 1 by mu is equal to 15 minutes mu is equal to 1 by 15 per minute now we have to convert this 1 by 15 per minute so when you multiply with 60 you will be getting 4 per hour now what we are going to do we are going to solve the following four questions raised in this problem let us do one by one so first of all it is m slash m slash one finite system capacity my capacity is going to be five fifo model then arrival rate follows poisson service rate follows exponential distribution lambda is given phi per hour and 1 by mu is given like 15 minute just now i said we have to convert mu is equal to 1 by 15 per minute so when you multiply you will be getting 4 per hour so i am converting everything in terms of hours so lambda is equal to 5 per hour mu is equal to 4 per hour and it is going to be this finite system capacity model k is equal to so all the informations right now we have in our hand now let us go on solve the problem before that as i said using lambda by mu it is little tough so i am going to use this as rho and lambda by mu let me check 5 by 4 it is not equal to 1 that means we have to check the problem whether lambda equal to mu or lambda not equal to mu so now we get lambda not equal to mu we have to proceed accordingly the first question given to us is what is the percentage of idle time so that means the barber will simply sit in the chair because there is no customers so when the there is no customers it is going to be idle system we use p not so capital p not probability of idle time immediately we know the formula for p not what is the formula guys do you remember so since we are taking rho as lambda by mu we are going to write the formula very simple 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power k plus 1 so we know rho and we know k so my k is going to be 5 and my rho is going to be 5 by 4 so if you substitute this if you substitute this and using your calculator you can get the value easily 0.08 so write in terms of percentage so the percentage of idle time is going to be 8.88% the next question what is the probability the potential customer will turned away so since the system is finite okay a new customer arriving to the shop when he arrived to the shop the barber is cutting the hair so one person is here and then since the capacity of the room is 4 for waiting purpose 2 3 4 5 so 1 2 3 4 4 persons are waiting and one person is getting serviced so k equal to 5 
so now ye customer is coming to cut the hair but what is the problem now already four person is waiting in the room and one person is getting serviced so the sixth person who is coming he don't have place to sit so what you have to do you have to quit in the since the queue is also fill and the service also fill so now you have to quit and you have to move so that means when the system is full p of n equal to 5 we know the formula what is the formula lambda by mu whole power 5 into p not because already we discussed the formula p n is going to be lambda by mu whole power n into p not so now if we substitute this value because p not is also known to us just now we found and lambda by mu is also known to us so 5 by 4 whole power 5 into 0.08 0.271 okay you can check the decimal places or if there is calculation error just ignore it the next question is expected number of customers so either it is going to be in queue or it is going to be in the system but in our question expected number of customers in queue so the formula is simple they are asking l q do you remember what is the formula for l q l q is going to be l s minus lambda dash by mu so now we have to find lambda dash lambda dash is nothing but mu into 1 minus p not i can simply find lambda dash by mu is equal to 1 minus p not my p not is 0.088 so immediately i'll get the lambda dash by mu as 0.9112 i want to find ls so what is the formula for ls do you remember instead of lambda by mu we always use what rho rho by 1 minus rho minus k plus 1 times rho power k plus 1 divided by 1 minus rho power k plus 1 so we know rho rho is lambda by mu that is going to be 5 by 4 and k is going to be 5 if we substitute this two values and use your calculator you will be getting the answer easily okay so the answer is going to be 3.1317 the average number of customers who are in the system is 3.137 i cannot take it as decimal so i am rounding off to 3 but now our question is what is the average number of customers in the queue so lq is going to be ls minus lambda dash by mu so now in the case we have to take the decimal if they ask ls then you have to round off this so 3.1317 and lambda dash by mu just now we found in our problem that is 0.9112 when you simplify this you will be getting 2.22 so i am writing it as two customers the final question is what is the expected time spent in the shop so spent in the shop means both the waiting time and the service time so it is going to be w s yes. so since we found ls we have lq in our hand it is going to be very easy w s is going to be ls by lambda dash so ls is 3.1317 just now we found and lambda dash is mu into 1 minus p not so mu is going to be 4 just now we found 1 minus p not is 0.9122 so just substitute this and simplify with your calculator you will be getting the solution easily so my answer is going to be 0.859 so it is in terms of hours now suppose we want to calculate the waiting time in terms of minutes so 0.859 when you multiply with 60 it will give you approximately 51.55 minutes so the expected time of a customer to spend in the shop is 51.5 minutes hope now you understand the difference between this two barber problems first one the system capacity is not given so it is infinite system capacity problem but this problem the system capacity is given as 5 so it is going to be finite capacity problem so i am always interested in barber problems because without barber we become barbarians right so i think this both barber problem will give you clear idea about the two queuing models that is finite system capacity and the infinite system capacity first in first out 
and both the things m slash m slash one that is single server arrival rate is poison and service rate is exponential thank you guys we'll see in the next video